Hey there, I just wanted to ramble about the Beatles and what each member brought to the band. John Lennon, if you took away his lyrics, his stuff wasn't really that exceptional. Some of his stuff was kind of boring if you took away the lyrics. John was a fantastic lyricist. He brought deep meaning into a lot of the, the songs that they put out. But if you took away the, the lyrics, I mean, think about the song Imagine. Da 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 and and so on, right? It, it's 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 it, there wasn't much to it. Um, the only stuff that got more inventive was the stuff where it was definitely acid kind of music, uh, you know, hallucinogen type of music, like uh, I Am the Walrus, right? That one is an example of where he got a little more inventive, but most of his stuff wasn't really that inventive. They made instrumentals of some of John's songs, but they weren't really they weren't really exceptional. When they were turned into instrumentals, they were kind of boring. One of the things that made a lot of his stuff sound exceptional was George Martin, their producer. George Martin's work, who, who died last year, and there was hardly a blip about it. Nobody gave a shit. Because, well, he's not one of the main Beatles. Well, he's the one that, that <laughs> engineered uh, what we know of as the Beatles' sound. If it wouldn't have been for George Martin, the Beatles probably wouldn't have become nearly as popular as they were in their later years. Then we have George Harrison. George Harrison added the Eastern sound into the Beatles' music. He, he mixed in a bit of that Eastern sound into almost every song he put in, he put out. And all of the Beatles songs that had that droning sound that you sometimes hear in Eastern music, that was, that was George. And Eastern philosophies often ended up in the lyrics of his music as well. Very cool stuff. A lot of his stuff was able to be turned into instrumentals and be beautiful, be just great, though not the droning kind of stuff, but songs like Something in the Way and my, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, those types. Then we have Paul McCartney. Paul, in many ways, was the musical genius of the group. He's the one who took styles from all over the place, from just about any era, just about any country, and would mishmash them together into something new. It was very cool. Paul seemed like the one that probably had the most... If, if he wasn't classically trained, he studied music enough to know just to take things from all these different eras. Now, some of Paul's stuff, the lyrics aren't really that meaningful. They're not that deep. Um, some of his songs started with gibberish lyrics, like uh, Yesterday. Yesterday, the original lyrics were something that it was scrambled eggs, and I think it was like scrambled eggs, I can feel them between my legs, right? It, it was just, it was silly. But he was having fun and, you know, wrote great music. And a lot of his stuff was turned into instrumentals and were great songs as instrumentals. Um, then we have Ringo. Ringo took whatever the others had written and was able to, no matter how out there, anything 
that was brought to the table, he was able to find a way to allow the common man to digest his music, their music. <laughs> he made the Beatles' music more palatable, no matter how out there it was. And without him, well, they, they might have been too out there for people to, to digest. So it's interesting to take note of what each member offered the band. 